So how often are you going to have to have esophageal dilatations? Well, number one is if you do an endoscopy and it's purely an inflammatory disease, probably never. Treat the inflammation with proton pump inhibitors, topical steroids, dietary therapy, and you're fine because scar tissue is not the issue. On the other hand, if you have scar tissue, it's somewhat relevant to how much you have. Some people only need one dilatation to open their esophagus up, treat the inflammation, and never dilatation again. But I see, and in the adult population, probably 10 to 20% have quite significant scarring of their esophagus. And in fact, they're characterized by having their disease for a long period of time, particularly undiagnosed. Those patients, I'll gradually get their esophagus open over, say, two, three, four sessions with the goal to be 17 or 18 millimeters, which means they can eat anything they want. They don't ever have to worry about food impactions again. And then after I get the esophagus stretched up, as it begins to close down again, I'll do another one. It may be every year, it may be every two to three years, it may be every five years. It's quite variable in the individuals.